Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to EFL Championship Predictions. Once again, I'm joined by Sophie. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. I'm really loving the championship at the moment. Because I mean, you're doing a little bit better. Not just because my predictions are a little bit better in it, but the action and the results have been pretty crazy recently. Mm. It's, it's really exciting. Yeah, what I like is that a lot of games aren't straightforward to no. predict now, so it is interesting. There's a lot to play for, top two, top six, relegation spaces as well. Before we get into it, you know the drill, guys. Let's make sure we hit the like button. Your support has been absolutely fantastic recently, so let's go for 1,400 on this one. That would be amazing, and it's definitely doable. If you're a fan of the championship and you like the look of us, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. It's free to do, and you're helping this channel grow. If we could hit 60,000 subscribers in March, that would be amazing. Make sure to like and subscribe. And the scores from midweek are here, Sophie. It was another draw. 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah, that's a good week for us though. We both did pretty well there, Sophie, and it's still level 214, 214. Oh, neck and neck. It's neck and neck. So let's get into the predictions and see who might take the lead this weekend. Let's start with a juicy game at the Hawthorne, Sophie, as West Bromwich Albion take on Southampton. Ooh. Well, this is a good one, isn't it? This is a corker. This is a really good one. West Bromwich Albion, of course, solid. They're just cemented in fifth place. They don't seem to want to budge. West Brom look like they're locked in fifth fifth place there are a few teams just a few points behind so they've got to keep the points being churned on if they mm -hmm. want to stay in the race and they did get a good 2-0 win in midweek but Southampton Sophie probably the biggest surprise of the week is their brilliant unbeaten run came crashing to an end at mm -hmm. Bristol City yeah when they went 1-0 down I still felt like Southampton will get something from this game even if they don't win it then when it was 2-0 later on I thought game over yeah. their, their run has came to an end Yep, and it finished 3-1. Um, I don't want to criticise Southampton because they've been so good and one defeat after 25 and beaten is hardly a crisis. One thing I will say though is the win against Huddersfield at the weekend before maybe did start to ring a couple of alarm bells and maybe foreshadowed that a defeat was coming soon. Yeah, possibly, looking back. Um, so, as for this one, Sophie, West Brom, solid. Need to keep the points being churned on. Pretty solid at home, I must say. Southampton, their runs come to an end. This is the interesting thing now. Do they get straight back to winning ways could they get a draw which could be built upon or will it be back-to-back -back defeats i think this is one of the biggest games of southampton season and i have bottled it sophie i'm going down the middle 1-1 one, one. Um, west brom are solid southampton are very good i can't separate them what are you saying i was really tempted to say a draw as well just because as i always say like when you get a defeat just get a draw and then push on from that southampton now I've dropped to third. Leeds have leapfrogged them, so they really need a win here if they want top two, because Leeds are applying that pressure and they're playing really well. West Brom, another team playing well, actually. Don't want to say a draw. I'm going to lean towards the home side, I think. I think it's going to be back-to-back -back defeats for Southampton. Wow. 2-1 West Brom. You're going for the baggies. I am. They're just very solid, aren't they? They are. They are. And Southampton it is very tricky right now because this brilliant run has come to an end. We genuinely don't know yeah. which way it's going to go. But I still have a lot of confidence in this Southampton team to end the season strong. But will it maybe take a game or two to get a winning run going again? Mm. On to the next game, Sophie. Let's go to Home Park. It's Plymouth Argyle versus Leeds United. These two are going to start to be getting sick of each other, aren't they? Obviously, they faced off a couple of times in the FA Cup as well. It's the fourth time they've met this season. Uh, Plymouth Argyle. Oh, Sophie, I watched them against Coventry City in the week. I thought they were quite good. Uh, we did predict a draw for that game, but Plymouth nearly won. They did, yeah, right at the death we nicked a point. Coventry did snatch a point there, yes. And Leeds United, Sophie, they cruised to victory in South Wales. 4-0 yeah. at Swansea. Yeah, I, I actually thought it'd be a closer game than that, but Leeds are on fire. They are on fire. They have jumped into second place. Southampton have got a game in hand. There's two points between them. But Southampton have a tricky game going away to West Brom before this one. It's so close. I genuinely think it will go to the wire. And as we all know, Leeds United and Southampton face each other on the final okay. day. Yeah. It's going to be absolutely fascinating. As for this one, Sophie, I do think Leeds will pinch it. They did win 4-1 after extra time in the FA Cup replay. Plymouth Argyle, though, did show some good signs against Coventry in the week. And Leeds United have been travelling quite a lot recently so that might take out of them somewhat but I still think they get the three points they've won about seven in a row Plymouth one Leeds two yeah I'm going for the same scoreline actually 2-1 Leeds I don't see Leeds running away with this one like they have in their previous games because Plymouth are a good side especially at home yeah they could be 
a few more goals, but I am going to say 2-1 Leeds. I agree with you there. Yeah, we're going the same on that one. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm kind of caught between Leeds maybe winning by one or two. Yeah. Um, wouldn't surprise me if Plymouth nick a draw, possibly. Mm. I mean, if they won that, that would really uh, you know, put the cat amongst the pigeons, wouldn't yeah. it? On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to a Tony Mowbray derby at St Andrews. It's Birmingham City versus Sunderland. Tony Mowbray obviously was at Sunderland before he came to Birmingham City this season. And Birmingham, they've been all right under Tony Mowbray. They mm. did get a good win in midweek. We did back them to beat Blackburn, actually. Mm. Um, and you... I don't think that was a massive shock though, was it? I'm Ooh. not going to give us loads of credit to say they beat Blackburn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, fair enough, but Blackburn had won at the weekend, whereas well, Birmingham, had. Birmingham had lost. Um, Sunderland obviously need to get back to winning ways. They lost to Huddersfield, but I think I'm going to go for Birmingham, you know. I'm torn between a draw or the home team possibly yeah. pinching it. And maybe, just maybe, Tony Mowbray can get back-to-back -back wins here and start to push Birmingham away from trouble. Going to go Birmingham City 1-0. OK, yeah, I was tempted to say 1-0 or maybe 1-1 one, one, because I feel like this is fairly evenly matched at the moment. But again, I feel like Blues might actually just sneak the win. I'm going to say 2-1. There you go. 2-1 Blues, yeah, yeah. a couple more goals. There you go. I mean, we've got this sort of confidence about Birmingham City now. What's this about? Since Mowbray's come in, really, steadied the shift and they... Since Rooney's, right. since Rooney's, since Rooney's gone. Since Rooney's gone, basically. I'm not going to back you to lose every week. <laughs> Birmingham and Sunderland fans, share your thoughts down below. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to Red Hot Inform Bristol City, who take on QPR. I mean, Bristol City, Sophie, we mentioned how good they'd been in their FA Cup games against Premier League opposition. They'd won 2-1 at Middlesbrough at the weekend. And to top it all off, they've smashed Southampton 3-1. It was nearly 3-0. Southampton yeah. scored a late consolation, of course. And they are the team who's ended Southampton's unbelievable unbeaten run. I think they could make the playoffs. I'm not saying they'll definitely make the playoffs, but I think they could. Well, there's so many teams that could, and they are in the mix, so, uh, yeah. And they'll look at this one as winnable. But let's be honest, Sophie, QPR, despite losing in midweek, which was a painful one to Stoke City, because QPR could have come out of the bottom three, yeah. um, I still think QPR are a solid team. But I'm going to go for Bristol City here, especially being at home. It'd be very disappointing if they dropped points in this after beating Southampton in midweek. Um... I'm going to go 2-0 Bristol City. Yeah, I'm actually going the same 2-0 um, Bristol City. What I will say is that it seems that Bristol City play well against better opposition. So coming up against a team that are very low in the table that are desperate for the points, they might struggle a little bit more. However, I've seen enough of Bristol City at the moment to lean towards them. Yeah. And yeah, I agree with you actually, 2-0. 2-0. Yeah, they're, they're starting to sneak up on the playoffs. Yeah. and. Um, yeah, it's very congested, so Bristol City need to keep the points being churned yeah. on. As for QPR, like I said, they've still got a chance, but mm -hmm. I, when neither of us are going for them this week, but maybe they'll still survive. Yeah. On to the next one, Sophie. This is interesting. A Yorkshire derby here between Huddersfield Town and Hull City. I think this will be a good game, actually. I think both, yeah. will be, both will be full of confidence after their results in midweek. Huddersfield Town, Sophie, they beat Sunderland 1-0. Really good result for the Terriers. Hull City, the Tigers, they went away to Rotherham. Came back from behind to win 2-1. And, of course, we have to give an honourable mention to Philogene's goal, even though there was a bit of a deflection and it, <laughs> it wasn't given to him. And now it has now been it given is, to yeah. him. Deflection aside, it was unbelievable footwork, Sophie, and a very good it goal. Is. And a very good player. He um, is unreal. Exactly. If there was any player in that Hull City team or on that pitch that night that could have conjured up something like that we knew it would have been Jane and Philogene yeah. um, as for this one Sophie Hull City right in the playoff mix they'll be coming here thinking let's get another win I do back Hull City a lot and I did actually back them to beat Rotherham 2-1 but on this occasion, I'm going to go for a draw. And I don't think that'd be a disaster for Hull. But Huddersfield will have their tails up after a really good result in midweek, Sophie. And they want to keep the points being churned on because they've opened up a nice little gap now over the bottom three. They've got to keep climbing. And I think I'm going to go for a draw. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, what I would say about this game right now, I'm struggling to separate the two. I could see either team winning it. And that's why I'm tempted to say a draw as well. I feel like there might be a couple more goals. I'm going to say 2-2 purely Ooh. because Huddersfield are playing much better football at the moment. Yeah. But Hull are a very good team and have the quality to win games. But yeah, I'm just going to have to sit on the fence. An entertaining one though. So Desmond, 2-2. Yeah. Honestly, I could see it going all three ways. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like I back Huddersfield Town enough and I back Hull no. City quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so going for a draw on this one, that's that's okay, I think. I think it could be a draw. Yeah, I think it... Well, that's why we're both back in a draw. That's why we've gone for yeah. it. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to the King Power. It's Leicester City versus Middlesbrough. Um, Leicester City, Sophie, they are a runaway train. No one's catching them. Yeah. 
I mean, they won again in midweek. Well done. You backed them to beat Sheffield Wednesday 2-0. Yeah, but yeah, well, they went 2-0 up fairly quickly. I thought, oh, this could be a few more goals than this. And then they just saw it out. I know. That was yeah. frustrating for me because I, I predicted 3-0. So I thought, oh, oh that might happen. Close, yeah. And then they just didn't quite get another one. Um, by me. They take on Middlesbrough, Sophie, who are still definitely in playoff contention. But the results have not been great. And they lost again in midweek. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. Uh, well, the thing is, Sophie, right now it doesn't look like no. it, but if they do get back-to-back -back wins at some point mm -hmm. soon, then the gap shuts a bit, oh, and, and it's very close, and there's lots of teams in the mix, but right now Middlesbrough certainly look like an outsider. Um, an outsider. And, yeah, I don't think they're getting anything here, Sophie. As I said in the previous video, until Leicester City have mathematically got over the line, they need to keep going 100%. Um, let's, let's see if they can actually break some records as well this season. Uh, 2 0 Leicester. Yeah, what we've seen from Leicester is that they're very, very good on the counter. And I feel like Middlesbrough will come into this game and be a little bit more attacking. So I feel like they might get punished a little bit more than Wednesday did. So I'm going to say 3 0 Leicester. So we're going the opposite of what we did last time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Leicester look very good. Middlesbrough aren't looking at their best at the moment. I do think they will turn it around at some point, but this is a very difficult game away at the King Power. And I don't see them getting anything. So 3 0 Leicester for me. 3-0. Yeah, like you say, we're changing it up from last week. Um, on to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to the Den. This is a big game as Millwall take on Sheffield Wednesday. Millwall are a sitting duck now, Sophie. Um, they lost to Coventry on Sunday, of course, and a 4-0 defeat to Ipswich on the Wednesday has made things look even worse. Sheffield Wednesday, they lost in midweek, but in fairness, we didn't think they'd get anything at the King Power. No. Um, what I said in that video was... Sheffield Wednesday have a chance of staying up, but it won't be games going away to Leicester that are going to decide it. It'll be the more winnable games yeah. like this one. Mm. Now, I know Sheffield Wednesday have been better at home, but if I was an Owls fan, I'd come here thinking, Bang up for it. we can get three points here. Millwall will feel like this might be a game that they can finally win after a long run without wins as well. But I'm going to go for the Owls, Sophie. Once again, am I just saying it because it would make things more interesting down at the bottom? Possibly, uh, but the signs are better at Sheffield Wednesday. Danny Roll has got the backing of the Sheffield Wednesday fans, and although they've not got lots of quality, they might just have enough to get them out of trouble down there, Sophie. They've got a bit of togetherness now, and I think they win at the Den 3 1. Oh, wow. Okay, quite convincing then. Yeah, what I will say about the Sheffield Wednesday fans, actually, I've seen so many videos of them whilst they're losing to Leicester and they're still there in full voice and I respect that. Yep. Millwall are in free fall at the moment. It is not looking good at all. As I always say, you need a draw, steady the ship and then build on that. This game is a drawable game for them. I'm not even gonna drawable. Yeah, I'm not even gonna say a winnable game because I'm <laughs> not gonna criticise Sheffield Wednesday like that. This is a drawable game. And I feel like Sheffield Wednesday would actually be a bit disappointed with a draw. I can see it playing out. One one. I suppose it would actually be slightly better for Millwall because Sheffield Wednesday need more wins yeah. because they're further down, of mm -hmm. course. How have we got to this point with Millwall, by the way, Sophie? I mean, They're a good team as well. They're really frustrating. Yeah. Millwall fans that are watching, do share your thoughts down below. I'm sure you feel a little bit the same as us. That it's a bit of a negative scene at the moment, but I think they still could stay up, but they can't afford to lose that, but I think they yeah. might. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to Carrow Road. Inform Norwich City take on Cardiff City. Two teams, Sophie, trending in opposite directions. For me, quite straightforward. I'm going to go yeah. straight in with Norwich 3 1. Um, personally, as a Coventry fan, I'd love to see Cardiff get something at Norwich because it'd stop them in the playoff race. Uh, yeah. But I can't see it, if I'm I being honest, Sophie. Um, Cardiff, let's be honest, they had a really good start to the season that caught us all off guard. But have they levelled out now? Have they kind of peaked and started to trend, trend back down now? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're starting to trend down the table. And Norwich are starting to move up oh, the table. 3-1. Yeah. yeah, Norwich are looking good at the moment. I think a clean sheet for them would be massive. And I can see it happening, actually, because Cardiff aren't clinical enough for me. They do have a few chances, but they aren't clinical enough. And Norwich are the team right now that will punish you. 3-0 for me. No, yeah, no, Norwich looking very good. So. Yeah. Well, they did hit four past Watford, mm. and Cardiff didn't even get a goal at West Brom, so yeah, we'll see. On to the next one, Sophie. We've got a Lancashire derby up next as we go to Preston North End versus Blackburn Rovers. 
Preston Sophie have started to put things back together. Yeah, they're doing me well in the predictions ever since start, I started backing them. I know. They're getting them right. I think I'm going to have to back them this oh. week. Um, it's like a jigsaw, Sophie. They put it together really quick at the start of the season, then it all fell apart and the pieces went everywhere, and now they're starting to put it back yeah. together again. And they, they are right on the cusp of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Preston are looking very good. Blackburn Rovers, although they did win at the weekend, they lost in midweek to Birmingham. And going away to Preston... Yeah, I'm going to go for Preston here, Sophie. They've got a lot to play for now, genuinely. That really good start to the season has held them in good stead. They've been afforded a little wobble, but they're only, what, goal difference away from being in the top six? I think they win this 3-1. Yeah, what we saw from Blackburn beginning of the season is Schmodix is a great goal scorer, and it seems like when he's not getting the goals, Blackburn aren't getting anything from the game. So it depends if he kind of turns up, but yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of pressure on one player. Preston are flying at the moment. You talk about playoffs, you've got to include them in the playoff shout. Yeah. I'm going to go heavy. Preston 3 now. Ooh. They're looking good. A clean sheet as well. Yeah, which would be massive. Preston fans, you'll be loving that. I, I suppose they do need their goal difference fixing, don't they? Um, yeah, as it's for, the worst up there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. How, <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't it, seeing them in it the is, playoff race yeah. with such a bad goal difference. Uh, but as for Blackburn, yeah, although they've got Eustace, who I do think is a good manager, um, I don't really rate them as a unit. Um, Not right now. I think it's going to take a few games and a few weeks for him to kind of settle in. I agree. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to the New York Stadium. It is Rotherham United versus Watford. Both sides lost in midweek. Um, I think I'm just going to go for quality on this one, Sophie. Neither of them are in great form, especially not Rotherham. Rotherham are bottom. There's little individual signs that make you think Rotherham have got a little bit of fight about them, but genuinely, have they got the quality? No. Probably not. Um, and they did have a little good run of results when Taylor first came in, but... Um, yeah, like I say, they've kind of flatlined and I think relegation is inevitable. Watford, they could be facing a mid-table finish unless they put things right. Mm -hmm. And they need to win this game to get themselves going again. And I think they might. It wasn't great against Norwich, but Norwich have been in good form. I reckon Watford win this 2-1. Okay, yeah, I can see why you're going towards Watford because they're going to be the favourites. But this is going to be my upset of the weekend. Rotherham get a draw. I'm not going to say they get a win because they don't have enough fight for me and they seem to throw games away. They went up against Hull and then, yeah, as much as it was a great bit of skill from Philogene, their defender did uh, get a bit of a nick on it and send it mm. forward. <laughs> I'm going to say a 2-2 draw. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why you're back in Watford and they would be the favourites. They've got much more quality in that team than Rotherham do, but... Rotherham needs something and surely they've got to get a point at, at some point. Yeah, and I'm surprised we've got this far into the season and Watford have not sacked their manager. Not that I think he should be sacked, but it's usually the norm. So it is. Um, I suppose that's quite refreshing, isn't it? Yeah, fair play to them. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to Stoke City who take on Coventry City. Make sure to join us on Saturday for the live stream. How am I feeling about this one? I'm feeling all right. I did say coming into this week to away games I'd take four points I thought Plymouth on paper was the harder game we predicted a draw and we got a draw Sophie mm -hmm. now our attention turns to this one where I think we need to go for the win uh, I would be a little bit disappointed with a draw I know Stoke City did win in midweek and that was a crucial win for them to get past QPR but the big picture is they haven't been great and I do think Coventry come here as pretty strong favourites that said, it was also a nil-nil draw between the two sides in the reverse fixture, but that was when Coventry hadn't got going yet. Yeah. Um, for this one, Sophie, I do think Coventry will edge it. There'll be a you know decent following from the Sky Blue Army, and Coventry, like I say, need to win. It's very close in the playoff race, and after a draw in midweek, which was okay, I'm happy with the equaliser yeah. late on, I'm going to go Stoke 1, Coventry 2 for this one, the Sky Blues to win. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit heavier. I do think Coventry have enough to win. Um, if we're without O'Hare again, he is a big miss. We do miss his creativity in the middle. But right now, Stoke are not performing well at all. So it's a good time for us to play on, really. And we need to attack this game and attack their team. And if we do that and we're clinical enough, I could see us winning not easily, but a little bit more convincing than your scoreline. I'm going to say 3-1 City. Yeah. The funny Possibly. thing is, Sophie, though, we don't 
back Coventry to get a clean sheet. We don't tend to get them so much now, do we? No, I wouldn't be surprised if we went 1-0 down as well. Yeah, but I do think Coventry will win. We're both going for Coventry this week. As I say, we tried to be fair with our predictions and we did back us to draw in midweek, but we're both going for us to win at the weekend, will we? Let's see. The final game, Sophie, is in South Wales and it's Swansea City up against Ipswich Town. Both sides involved in a 4-0 game at the weekend. Swansea losing at home 4-0, Ipswich winning away 4-0. Uh, could it be 4-0 to Ipswich? We will see. I think Swansea have got to be pretty embarrassed by that. Yes, they've gone up against Leeds, who are absolutely fantastic, but um, very, very disappointing. And the results are not great. There's one or two individual results that are okay, but they can't knit it together, yeah. and that's why they're in the bottom half. Ipswich Town, Sophie, may be back on track now after a couple of results without a win. An emphatic win came at the Den. Um, Millwall aren't great at the moment, but I don't want to take anything away from Ipswich. Really good win. And I do fancy them here. I think this one will be closer. I'm not going for a 4-0, but I am back in the Tractor Boys to win 2-1. Yeah, I'm going to say 2-0. What Swansea seems to be lacking at the moment is goals. And I think it'd be important for Ipswich to get another clean sheet, back-to-back -back clean sheets. Yeah. As long as you're winning as well, it's great for team confidence and Ipswich, I feel like they are a confident team anyway, but with like the last few results, they had dropped off it a bit and they need to build that confidence right up if they're going to be flying like they were. Swansea, talk about confidence, they're a team low on confidence at the moment and you can understand why because the performances aren't at it. 2-0 Ipswich for me. Yeah, there you go. We're both back in the tractor boys and maybe, just maybe, they could find themselves back in the top two race after a couple of people have ruled them out. We will see. There is also four championship games being caught up on in midweek next week. And there are our predictions for those four games. Cardiff City face Blackburn Rovers. Ipswich Town host Rotherham United. Plymouth Argyle take on West Bromwich Albion. And Southampton face Hull City. They are our predictions for the midweek games next week, which are being caught up on in the championship. That wraps up our championship predictions though, guys. Like I say, there's plenty of interesting action coming up at the weekend do make sure to drop a like if you've enjoyed the video and make sure to share your championship predictions down in the comments it takes two seconds so go on we will have a look at your predictions down in the comments make sure as well you are subscribed it's free to do that and you're helping this channel grow and it means a lot to us so make sure to subscribe it's free to do thank you for joining me today sophie thank you we will see you guys in the next one peace out